Even before starting your research, you should know what are different elements of a final dissertation or thesis because it gives you an idea and plan on how to complete your research work. So on the first page of your thesis, it will be the title of your research, your names as well as your present as well as your registration numbers. You may have uh, multiple supervisors. So the name of the supervisor and the year of your research work. The next page will be your certificate of uh, research that has been examined and authenticated. So the names of your supervisors and their signature and the chairman and accordingly will fill other parts. The next page will be about the author's declaration. So here these are all fixed words uh, you, uh, where you are permitting and authorizing a UET Peshawar to use your thesis and make photocopies of it or part of it may be shared with any institute or individual and uh, you also permit the distribution electronic distribution of your thesis as well so all your signatures will be here next section is the acknowledgement where in your research maybe your friends family university staff have helped you in completing your research work so here you will acknowledge them that you are grateful the next page will be about dedication you can dedicate this research work to anyone or any cause or any event that you think is worth honoring by dedicating it through your research work the next section will be table of contents so you don't need to write anything here at the end once you have completed all the chapters you just simply right click on it click on update field and update entire table and press ok to this and it will update all these table of content for you automatically the next section will be the abstract uh, which is also known as executive summary and in abstract you actually write one or two paragraphs and you write them in a form of answering about these seven uh, simple questions that what is the background of this research from where it came uh, what problem or technique that your research work is covering and how others solved them or used or created those techniques and how you are improving on their work or how different you are doing from them and then your research work is not a whole and then what are the limitations or limited scope of your work then what was your finding and then how your findings can benefit the field of research or the nation or the whole world then you will start writing your chapters the first chapter is always the introduction chapter and it starts with a topic introduction which is actually the introduction of this chapter so here you will tell that in this chapter what are you telling but of course the details of them will be coming forward so in introduction chapter the second topic will be the background and history which mainly tells that how you got motivated to actually start this research work and you should base it on some good referenced historical facts as well then you will write the scope of your work for example if you your research work is related to structural engineering field it is a limited aspect of it that you are only touching in this work for example your work is about perpendicular weld joint strength in steel bars so here you will clearly inform about the scope of your work write everything in clear way don't use technical english writing skills and avoid shortcuts and slangs next uh, in introduction you tell about the problem statement which is actually based on these two studies so what was the background and the history and how limitedly you are working in particular field where you have discovered a problem 
and you have taken this challenge to solve it through this research so you will just try to solve it even if you fail to solve that the end you still write this thesis to show your struggle and advice for future researchers on how they can redo it without doing those mistakes that you did next topic is about the aims and the objectives so in order to solve the problem in section 1.4 here you will aim some specific results for example one aim is to find the strength of a perpendicular steel rebar welded joint and by hitting that aim you will achieve few objectives which can be relatively broader for example one of the objectives that can be achieved by to aiming this work is to find a new technique of joining steel bars in applications where it's used perpendicular to each other and fulfill the code requirements so you can see that your objective is very big and you are achieving this objective by actually completing this task of finding out the strength of a welded joint so in this section you will write achievable aims or goals and their objectives finally you will write the thesis organization so in thesis organization very briefly you will tell how you have organized all the chapters in this thesis and how they are related to each other in the form of stage wise research work the next chapter chapter number 2 is always literature review so you don't start your research work blindly by some idea only you then look into literature it can be an internet website it can be journal article it can be a book it can be a news story it can also be some data provided by some research institute so all that you will study and then you will plan and finalize your research so all what you have studied you will write about it in this particular chapter so after writing the introduction of this chapter as well you will find out key titles of this particular research for your own critical study so maybe some thing you will study that may be performed wrong or it may be state of the art perfect so whatever it is you will give your honest opinion about that after reading it and you will arrange all under different headings for or subheadings for this particular chapter for example here in one of the heading we are talking about welding only because that is related to our work and in and if there are further subheadings you will provide them as well and another topic steel rebar joint so what you will do is what you will be studying about them these particular topics or titles and then you will write them in a proper referencing style for example harvard system of referencing and this is a very good link uh, for guidance on how to use harvard reference system by india ruskin university uk at the end of every chapter you will write a summary of that chapter and this will be actually the collection of all the knowledge and findings that came out from the topics you discussed above in this chapter then you will have a group of chapters uh, and based on multiple preliminary studies that you will do to perform this research that uh, of course those studies are before your actual experimental work and these activities can be a survey it can also be estimation similitude or scaling um, theoretical or numerical modeling field trips or data collection you can make multiple chapters out of these type of studies that you have done so maybe chapter 3 4 5 so as many of these things or similar things are part of your study you will make chapters out of them and again in those chapters you will explain your detailed work that you have done so for example if you have done a survey you will detail the survey if you have done some estimation work you scaled something or you have done some small numerical calculation or some theoretical studies as well you can make separate chapters out of them 
and as usual this chapter as well and all other similar chapters will end with summary so here we as discussed in the previous chapter this may be another chapter and it may be about a survey or maybe a numerical work and it ends with the summary as well and then once those preliminary studies are com completely clarified in previous chapters then you will come to your actual study so your actual experimental plan maybe it is a physical experiment maybe it's a computer based experiment so whatever it is you will talk about all the experimental plan and strategy in some subtopics for example here what are the different materials we use in this research and another topic was about uh, how we set up the test rig example as usual all the summary of your experimental plan will be summarized in the last topic here then next topic is always after your experimental work is your actual experimental results and a discussion on them for example we did some pull test and uh, we did some type of uh, pull test maybe uh, for joint uh, but using binding wire and also welded joint so we have topics with detailed results on our experimental study then once we have written all the results we will start discussing those results in the next section of this chapter if you want or the discussion is very detailed you can have separate two chapters for results and discussions as usual ending with the summary the last chapter will be conclusions and recommendations and in here you will have after introduction you will have uh, two major topics conclusions and recommendations and in conclusions the summaries that you have written in previous all above chapters you will recompile it here again in conclusions it can be in bulleted form or it can be in the form of paragraphs but once you will reword and or rewrite the summaries of all previous chapters they will be they will become your conclusions and for recommendations you will write two paragraphs and it can be bulleted as well so the first paragraph will be about the recommendations to the readers based on your research work you will help them by recommending something out from your research and the second paragraph will be a recommend, set of recommendations not to general public but to researchers who want to continue your research work or maybe you want to progress further or and here you will help them and tell them that what you recommend they should do in future work also if your recommendations are so detailed and uh, so useful that they can be written in the form of guideline perhaps you can have another chapter before this chapter about guidelines that you have created then you will have list of references how to write them properly in the uh, in a particular reference style you can get those details from this link i discussed earlier so here is some example references i have added for you then at the end of your thesis you may have multiple appendices they are also known as annexures and these uh, are the materials which are not important to discuss in the thesis but are related to your thesis for example you have written a matlab or a python script uh, to convert weld stress into strain so it is not important to discuss this uh, script that how you actually wrote that and what what was the algorithm that is a very secondary thing from your actual research point of view so you will not discuss them in any chapter but at the end you without detailed discussion you will just simply paste your script that this was the script that you used but again you will not go in detail of that you can also uh, add appendices about design charts tables uh, complete software output data Uh, that some software uh, once you do software based simulation 
it at the end it creates huge amount of garbage data that you analyze and you write a summarized result in result and discussion chapter but that all garbage data can be useful for some other purpose for to other people so you can add that data in the appendix as well and this concludes the discussion of how to write your thesis thank you very much